What do you think of my doghouse? Pretty proud of yourself, aren't you? I am very proud. <laughs> That's amazing. How <laughs> long did it take you to build this? Half my life. No. Are you I, done? I, I, no, I'm not actually done. No. There's some areas that I need to paint. I need to finish up the roofing, but you know, the okay. dog will never know. <laughs> you know, he'll he'll be inside watching TV, you know, right. snacks. No, but this is very basic construction, but I wanted to point out that I did put some insulated siding on here because that'll help with the warmth in the winter and the cold in the oh summer. Oh my uh, goodness, it, it's exactly you know, it's, like a house. It's perfect for the dog. Could I want to live in here. Could this be a kid's playhouse? You, it could, yeah, you can modify little, the plans. A little taller. A little taller, bigger door. I created mine to be somewhat of a box. And what I did to make it easier is I purchased these panels. Now you can purchase these at a home center store already cut. This size. 24 by 36, of course. I cut mine down the size because this is gonna be for a uh, spaniel. So this is the perfect size for that dog. Okay. So I cut it down the size. And the next thing I did is I laid out my, my door and I made really, you know, heavy pencil lines so I can cut this out with my jigsaw and then I sanded it smooth. Okay. So once that's done, you want to start the assembly. So I cut my other panels with a, a uh, circular saw, if you can hold that. Yeah. And the key to the whole thing are these corner posts. These are just little two inch by two inch posts that of course you will cut down the size using your miter saw. Yeah. And then I just attached it by screwing from the outside into this post and I use galvanized screws so that it will be weather tight and okay. they won't rust. So you build your basic box so you have a four panel box. Nice and sturdy Like then. that, right? And I'll just hold this with my leg. And then once you have your box set, Sherry, if you can hold this, yeah. I'm gonna lift yeah. the lid here. Let's lift this up here. I put this on a piano hinge so that the homeowner or the dog owner can actually lift this up and clean inside here. There's a piano hinge on the back so they can lift it up and clean inside. That's not gonna like fall on your back? No, now this actually is just for demonstration purposes. You don't wanna do this, please don't do this. When we're all finished, I'm gonna put this lift hinge. Safety. One on both sides. These are very sturdy. Look for one that has a, a pound test. They, they come up to 200 pounds, so it'll hold this lid up safely okay. while you're doing your work inside. I just thought this was a good feature so that they can clean out the inside Instead of the dog Instead of crawling house. in through the door, yeah, right. that's great. Right, now the next step after you build your box is that you need to have your roofing system started. You need to have this pitch. Now what this pitch does, it allows the roof to drain off any rain or snow. So you wanna have a pitch. Now the higher the pitch, the better, but I went with about a four degree pitch and that's, that's all I plenty. did. That's plenty. That's plenty. Now how I built that, this is the board. This is the fascia board outside. It's a one by six board. I found my pitch and I laid it on the, on the uh, marking so that I can add this cleat. And what this cleat does, once it's attached to the board, this cleat rests on the box so that you get that pitch angle. This is where your roof line will be. Which is the side. Which is the side right the inside there. You can see how oh, can it's see pitched it. down. And this cleat This is then, like looking at it from the inside. This is from the inside. And then you attach this board from the outside. Okay. And the cleat rests on there. And that's how you do the pitch. Cool. That's okay, easy. I'll take that off. Sure. Now the next thing you want to do, of course, is you want to add your bottom. You measure out your box that you did. You cut your plywood to shape using your circular saw, flip everything over, attach the bottom, and just dr drill some screws in oh. and galvanize screws again so you have your bottom. I did coat it with a primer. There, it is primed underneath because it is going to have weather. You know, there's Does it be, sit on the ground? It, well, this one won't. You can build all sorts of different post systems. Oh, okay. I'm going to put this actually on two pieces of pressure treated lumber that looks like a sled so oh, it can yes. be moved around. So yes. you can do that. Um, so you want to put your bottom on. Now let's turn our attention to the roof because this is really kind of critical. You want to make sure that you have a nice system to keep it dry inside. Again, plywood base. Yeah. I build it so it's about two inches over the edge so that there's a little drip off. Nice lip. Then I started adding all the things that you would do for a normal roofing. This is drip crazy. edge. I know, you just put this on. You attach this with a couple of nails and you want to make sure your nails aren't longer than your plywood so your nails don't drive through. You attach this, hold that. This, how do you cut this? Tin snips, that's all you need to do for okay, that. Well, that's easy enough. Yeah, so you got that, you have, you cut that, you make sure that that's dry, and then I have some. I know this, I know you think I'm probably crazy, but again, 
As a dog owner, I would make sure that this is weather tight, well, wouldn't you? Well, you want to protect them. You're putting yeah. them out in the cold. Okay. So this is a felting material. This goes on next. You put this across the plywood. You overlap it. You just staple it on. You use a staple gun and you just pump, 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 staple it on. And you kind of go over the drip edge a little bit so that that's sealed too. It's exactly like building the house. Huh? It's exactly like building the house. I'm going to turn it a little bit so that maybe we can see the roof real quick. My like goodness. so, you can see the roof you line. You did a beautiful here. job. Isn't that nice? I think you could get other work. Well, <laughs> no. <laughs> if they saw how long it took. One roof isn't, this roof isn't. But enough. you just start, you know, with your courses of your tile, you always start out with the bottom tile being flipped over, and then you kind of work your way up doing your tile. Again, you want to make sure that you'll always use a nail that doesn't penetrate through your plywood here. That so might that, smart <laughs> that would hurt the, the little head of the little yeah, dog. Right. So you just kind of work your way all the way up and you'll have a perfectly sealed, sealed roof so that your dog will be nice and comfortable and warm inside. Okay, now talk about the inside. Now you're gonna, again, think I'm just totally nuts. It looks like you've been doing some interior decorating. I did. <laughs> Do you notice this paneling inside? Yes, I do. I had tongue some and groove leftover something. tongue and groove paneling. This is just stuff that you can attach as a tongue and groove. You start in the corner, just simple nails that you yeah. attach it to. Now, what you'd want to do is make sure you paint or prime this before you put it in, which I will, this is just temporarily just in. I'll started. pop it out, but I just cut it to size and then I attached it all the way around so that the inside is not just that bare plywood. They actually have nice and smooth. a nice and smooth finish for that. So I'll that's get that later. <laughs> You're but not that, done. I'm not done. I still have a lot to do. So that's how you get the basic construction of the inside of the, of the doghouse. So you have it and nice and smooth. And the floor is fine just like that? Well, actually, you know what? I had some of this left over from my garage. This is just a tiling system that I thought would be perfect to place in here. I can cut it to size. The water will drain when the wet dog comes in and you, I'll make it so it's removable so they can take it out and hose, hose it, it down. and down and clean it and it'll be perfect. And then the anymore. oriental rug goes in in the winter yep, time. Yep. And then the final step, of course, is I did my vinyl siding. I just use what they call is a starter strip. This is okay. a starter strip that you attach and then you just build your, your vinyl siding up. You have your corner post. And this doghouse is now completely insulated for all types of weather. That is fantastic. And you know the colors here? I do have the colors. We are talking about color today. Yep. This is absolutely gorgeous. Did Exterior? Your house? Oh, pretty close. <laughs> Love the colors. That's what we're going to talk about next.